Hey guys, Chastity here. The new TV series American Gods premieres on Stars on April 30th. It's based on the novel by Neil Gaiman. He wrote Stardust, Coraline, and the Sandman comic series. So who are the gods in American Gods? I'll break those down for you right now, but before I do, subscribe to our channel, because you never want to miss any of our American Gods coverage, and it's coming this week, next week, the week after, who knows? <laughs> American Gods tells the story of Shadow Moon, a man who gets released from prison and finds himself in the middle of a battle between the old gods and the new gods. So who exactly are these old gods? I'll tell you, but first, be warned, because there are some slight spoilers ahead. First, we have Mr. Wednesday, played by Ian McShane. Wednesday is a mysterious and charismatic con man with plans to unite the old gods, to join him in the war against the new gods. He has the ability to travel backstage, a place behind the world of men. Mr. Wednesday explains the war in the book. Gods die, and when they truly die, they are unmourned and unremembered. Ideas are more difficult to kill than people, but they can be killed in the end. Secretly, Mr. Wednesday is Odin, the old Norse god of knowledge and wisdom, making him one hell of a con artist. Odin is a widely revered god in Germanic mythology, but most of what we know about him stems from Norse mythology. Odin is the head honcho, the all-father of the Nordic gods. He's also the father of Thor, the god of thunder. In Norse mythology, Odin has 18 charms, or powers. Some of them seem fairly insignificant, like the ability to catch arrows and escape bonds, but most of them are pretty useful. He can heal, calm storms, render enemy weapons useless, provide magical protection for his allies, and make people have a chance of heart. And yes, he can hook up with anyone he wants and can make them fall for him. In older English, Odin is named Woden, and Wednesday in English comes from Woden's Day, hence Mr. Wednesday. Chernabog is played by Peter Stormare. He is suspicious of Mr. Wednesday's motives and is reluctant to help him. Chernabog is one of the old gods, the Slavic god of darkness, whose name means black god. He is the counterpart to Bielabog, the god of light and sun. There has been much speculation about Chernabog, but not much has been said definitively. Christian historical sources interpret him as a dark, accursed god. It is said that Chernabog brings disaster and misfortune wherever he goes, and he does so without an agenda. He simply enjoys being evil. This description fits with how he acts in the novel as he killed cows with his hammer for a living after coming to America. Bilquis is played by actress Yatide Badaki. In the book, she is the old goddess of love, who lives in the present as a prostitute, who devours men while having sex with them. In the heat of passion, she asks them to worship her and call her goddess. Pray to me like I'm your god, your goddess. Once they do, she becomes a literal man-eater. Their entire body disappears and not into her mouth. Just right up in there, yep. Bilquis is believed to be a jinn, a half-human, half-demon. In history, Bilquis is the Queen of Sheba, a biblical figure known for a legendary voyage to meet King Solomon and test his wisdom. There seems to be little connection between Bilquis and American gods and the Queen of Sheba, except that they share the same name. The Queen of Sheba was a woman of great wealth, beauty, and power, who was a seeker of truth and wisdom. In the show, Easter is played by a well-dressed Kristen Chenoweth. In the book, Easter has the power to resurrect the dead and heal wounds with a kiss. In Germanic mythology, Easter, or Estra, is the goddess of rebirth. Spring, dawn, and birth are all within her domain. Rabbits, eggs, and a spring festival are all theorized to come from early celebrations in her honor. Mr. Nancy is portrayed by Orlando Jones. Mr. Nancy is one of the old gods named Anansi, a trickster god originating from West Africa. He appears in two of Neil Gaiman's books, American Gods and Anansi Boys. In the book, Shadow sees Mr. Nancy both as a man and a spider. Mr. Nancy has the power of trickery and can travel backstage like Odin can. In his Ashanti story origins, Anansi was a trickster who stole the ability to have stories exist in the world from the Sky God. All Anansi stories have a moral associated with them. What will we learn from him in American Gods? Demore Barnes plays Mr. Ibis, or Thoth, the ancient Egyptian god of writing, wisdom, and magic. The Greeks declared him the inventor of many sciences. In the book, Mr. Ibis is a funeral director in the world of the living, but in the world of the dead, he is a psychopomp, a being who travels freely from the world of the living to the world of the dead. You have died, Mrs. Vadil. And it is time for you to come with me. Mr. Jekyll is the pseudonym assumed by Anubis, the Egyptian god of the afterlife. 
he will be played by Chris Obi. In the book, he has the ability to transform into a dog, restore himself by consuming pieces of the dead, and judges people's souls in death by placing their heart on a scale opposite a feather. If their heart is heavier than a feather, their soul is eaten by Ahmet, the eater of, well, souls. He and Mr. Ibis run a funeral parlor together. Be sure to come back for our American Gods reaction videos once that show starts up. And speaking of reaction videos, we have one for Fargo Season 3, Episodes 1 and 2. You can click right up there to check that out. Do it, thank you, and subscribe. Thanks.